Yep. Up and out. There, yep. There it goes. That team is coming right out. Free. Free. Supernatural Life family. <laughs> we back. We back, and it's going to be a big move of the Holy Ghost out here, man. People are arriving. A lot of awesome things are about to happen. I'm excited. I just want to tell you guys really quick, because things are about to get really, really real. I just pray right now you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and join the Forerunners, guys. Join so you can be a part of this right here. I'm going to give you guys an overview of uh, who's out here now. We got people wearing green shirts. The certified forerunners are wearing green shirts, so they're gonna be praying for people also. It's gonna be so good, man. So, so good. Jesus is so alive. Come on, man. I'm, I'm just excited. My spirit is just on fire for what Jesus is about to do. All right, let me show you guys a little bit of this. See the green shirts? Green shirts signify forerunners. If you look around, there's a few people already out here. I know, man. So, you know, good times, good times. Good times in the Holy Ghost. Baby excited? Yes, I'm super excited. Yeah. I'm just kind of taking it all in. You know? I always say it a lot, like that we don't want to take this for granted. So I'm just kind of soaking it all in and just... You know, we're just praising and worshiping Jesus on the way here, and it's just an awesome life we get to live, and it's all because of Him and not really because of us. And uh, He's just really faithful. So it's a beautiful day. It's a little overcast, a little wind. So I got a, I got Daniel's uh, best friend today, besides the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we, need, we need that, man. I need to live. I need to yeah, live. Yeah, no more farmer's tan for Daniel because he didn't wear a long sleeve today. So, but I'm really excited. It's gonna be awesome. I am too, baby. Yes. It's about to get real. Always. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Oh. <laughs> well, man, Isaiah's boy. Hey, I just want to give you some some camera time because you're gonna be holding this thing, bro. And man, I'm, I, you saving me the muscle time right now, man. I'm relaxing right now. Yeah. I know. At one point in time, that's gonna be my my, my bottle right there. Man. Oh, it's gonna get real. Amen. Amen. Hey, man. The shrimp ain't getting you today, dog. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now we we out here blessing, blessing and being blessed by everyone here. For real, just them being here, everyone being here, blesses us. Believe it or not, you know, and it's just crazy. Huntington Beach Part Two. Amen. Amen. Come on. That is so good. Man. You really Woo. All right. So we're gonna make Jesus the center of this today. Amen. Amen. And everybody can be in agreement. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord, make yourself known on this beach. This is not for us, this is for you. May Jesus be lifted high. May miracles manifest for him, Lord, so that his name can get the glory on Huntington Beach today. Lord, blind the eyes of people that are against this. Lord, I pray you keep the police away. I pray you keep the security away. I pray, Lord, that you will just let your power manifest. And if they walk in the midst of this, they will encounter you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. I pray you anoint every forerunner that's certified here today for the works of ministry. Use them all mightily. Lord, may we have excellence today in everything that we do. And may everybody that came today get exactly what they came for. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we glorify you. Jesus, we adore you. Have your way, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So here's the key, all right? Here's the key to the miracles. I'm about to give it to you. The key to miracles is humility. If you come out here with a humble heart and you lay everything down, meaning you just fully surrender and fully submit to your ways and you fully give over to His will, you know, I promise, I guarantee, even without me laying a hand on you, do you understand? My goal today is the Holy Ghost to get you before my hand gets you. You see? Or before a certified forerunner lays hands on you today. I plan, my plan, or hopefully it's his plan, is that he wrecks you where you're standing. Yeah. You know, if you look at the back of the shirt, you see a wave on the back of the shirts. That's what we're believing for today. We're believing a wave of revival. Amen. Amen. If you've noticed, God is doing things outside of the church building right now. Yeah. It's not in the four walls. 
You see this? We're in open air. Crusades are coming to America. You know that? Outdoor crusades, man. Back in the day, you would try to call this, and people would be like, ah, the sun's out. We're going to get sun buried. We're going we're gonna to stay in the building. But what happened is the enemy pushed the church out the building. Yeah. He messed up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He made a big mistake. Yeah. So that's why we're standing out here today. And it says this in the Word. I was meditating on the verse today. Joel 2.28 in Acts 2, it says this, that he will pour his Spirit out upon all flesh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The only way that that Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will pour out on all flesh is if His children display His glory. And you have to do that outside of the church building. Amen. Now I said building, not church, because we are the church. Amen. 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 Amen? Amen. And listen, some of you guys have come, I've talked to you already, you say, I have pain in my body, I'm believing for this and I'm believing for that. Okay, you know why Jesus wants to heal you? You know why He wants to use this as a testimony for Him? Because it does no good if you're in limitations. You see, Jesus isn't a God of limitations. He likes to meet your expectations. You, you understand? All right, get that divine revelation. Yeah? Okay. He doesn't want you sick. He doesn't want you with pain in your body. I speak to people sometimes and they're like, it's for the glory of God. I'm like, that's demonic. And your sickness is not for God's glory. That does not bring heaven any glory. There's no sickness or disease in heaven, man. You understand? So I'm going to tell you this. The Bible says lay hands on the sick, they'll recover. I don't care if you see a result instantly or not. You don't declare anything less than you are healed. Amen. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Okay? And you'll eat the fruit of whatever you say. All right? So what comes out your mouth is your reality. Out of, the, out of your... It says, out of the heart, the mouth yeah. speaks. I always tell people when I talk to them, let me speak to you five minutes, I'll know exactly who you are. Oh. You understand? Our words are either going to condemn us or press us forward. Yeah. So let's not condemn ourselves today. Let's not let our own words trap us. Let's speak what Jesus says that He will do. Let's believe that He'll do what He says He'll do. Amen? Amen. Can, can we at least do that today? Yes. Yes. Are you okay with that? Yes. And I want to tell you this too, church. Christians should never have demons. You know that, right? Christians should never have them, but the problem is, is they do. Right? Remember, I say this. Christians can have a demon, but a demon cannot have a Christian. Amen? So you have every right to let go of your demon. You don't have to walk in on a leash anymore. You don't have to say, give it a pet name. You don't have to listen to the intrusive thoughts it tries to put in your head. That's all up to you. Because it says, whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. Either he's did what he said he'll do or he hasn't. And there's times I'll pray for people, they'll come back 20 times talking about the voice never stops speaking. I say, you never stop listening, man. The voice will speak as long as you give it attention. The devil is a rejected being. He is not wanted in heaven anymore. He is going to talk to anybody that will listen to him. The Bible says, my sheep will hear my voice. In the last days, God's sheep must hear the shepherd's voice. Amen? You are blood bought. You are bought with a price. You have value upon you. God has given you a grace that the prophets could only dream about. I was thinking about that the other day. You know, in the Old Covenant, it said that the prophets dreamed of this time. They couldn't, they wanted to see it because they had the spirit with limitations. They had to wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon them for them to speak. But now, Jesus' spirit has been poured out without measure to all who want it. You see? The only, like I said, the only limitation, church, is ourselves. Amen? Amen. And I'm going to tell you this too. If you've never met the Holy Ghost, if you've never been baptized in the Holy Spirit, if you've never spoken that that, that heavenly language, you are missing out tremendously, man. We need the church to be walking in power. We need people to be baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. The baptismo de Espíritu Santo en el nombre de Jesús. Amen? Amen. It's coming today, man. It's coming. He's going to pour His Spirit out today upon all who want to receive it. You can become so overwhelmed with Jesus right where you're standing that you will have a heavenly encounter. You will have a divine revelation just standing there. 
not looking at man. It's saying, Jesus, encounter me today. Jesus. I'm yes, not moving man. from this sand until you meet me. My yep. feet will not move until you meet me. Put a demand on Jesus. Yes. Put a demand. Don't go, oh, he didn't touch me. I'm going to move. Yes. <laughs> the Lord's saying, will you stay? Will you stand? Will you believe or will your feet go back to sand? Ooh. If a demonized man that was in the gatherings that cut himself and messed himself up on a continuous basis, if his demonized feet could run to the feet of the Savior, then if us out here that are not extremely demonized, right, we shouldn't have a problem running our feet to the Savior. Amen. 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 Guys, Jesus is alive. Come on. Amen. And the time is now. Yeah. You get as much of him as you want. The key to God's power is humility. The key to God's power is forgiveness. The key to God's power is getting over yourself. You know, it doesn't say that the self-righteous will inherit the kingdom of God. It says you got to become like a little child to see the kingdom of God. That means you have to get the joy of the Lord back in your life. If you've been depressed, if the Lord is, I mean, if the devil has beaten you up to the point where you can't stand it, it's time to get the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He wants to pull the oil of gladness out upon your head. Some of you today are going to laugh like you never laughed before, man. Because freedom is going to be on your doorstep. Some of you, your mouth has been closed for so long. You've been wondering, where is my voice gone? Why have I been around oppressive people that have shut me down, that will not let me speak that will not let me be who I am. Some of you are saying, I can't be who I am in this situation. Amen. And I know I'm talking to you, some of you. You feel restricted. You feel held down. Some of you are even trapped in religious churches with religious pastors. You know? That won't let the body be free, won't let the Holy Ghost move. And what you're doing, listen now, is you're making excuses to stay because you think you're the one that's going to save the church. That's a demonic lie. Jesus will not put anybody in there. If the pastor ain't listening to Jesus, he ain't going to listen to you. Wow. Amen. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. This is what needs to happen. We got to get people out of bondage. Sometimes we're bound to things. And, and I love the church. I love the fivefold ministry. But I also know what control looks like. You understand? Amen. What you're doing now, what you're about to be imparted for, is what you need to be doing. Every church should be okay with its people moving in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. They should have no restrictions on their people. Of course, there needs to be decency and order, but we're not shutting things down because you don't like that somebody looks better than you. Yeah. That somebody's got a little bit more anointing. I, look, there's some, some of you guys out here, y'all are stupid anointed. I mean like ridiculous anointed. And y'all can do things that I can't even do. You know what? I'm serious, man. Yeah. Some of you got anointings to heal things that I don't. Some of you will work miracles that I can't. Some of you will prophesy things to certain people that I can't. I'm okay with that. I know that. The goal of a true father in the spirit is for the kids to be better than him or her. True mother's the same way. We need to make sure everybody is running the race and going to win in a good way, in a good fashion. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So guys, there's no intimidation here, baby. Get wild. Yeah. Rock it with Jesus today, man. Yeah. Zero limitations. Yeah. From old to young and young to old. Amen. Nobody in here can be limited. The only problem with some of the older is they get a little bit more stubborn. But we cast stubborn demons out. And we got rebellious young ones too. Don't get me wrong. We get it all out. It seems like when you get my age, you get stuck in the middle of choice, you know? So I'm either going to get stubborn or I'm going to stay free. I'm choosing free. Amen. And I'm going to believe I don't know anything. But Christ and Christ crucified. It took me a long time, but I understand why, why Paul said, I know nothing but Christ and Christ crucified. Because the moment you say, my experience in life, you take away from what the Spirit can do. Amen. Now, I understand life experience. Relax. But I'm just saying, don't let your experience limit the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Don't let Amen. what you've been through put fear in other people's life. Because a lot of times what people do is they will put fear in people's life because, you know, they're still traumatized. Amen. 
We don't have traumatized Christians, man. We have free Christians. Did you know Jesus takes care of trauma? Yes. Do you know he heals trauma, right? Yes. We don't have trauma victims in the kingdom, man. You might in the emergency room, but not in the kingdom. Right. Amen. Amen. You can receive trauma as a Christian and go into the emergency room, get healed in the emergency room, and let everybody else know there's no trauma victims here. Amen? Amen. All right? Okay. So, guys, I know I see the anticipation. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Stop preaching. What time is that? Get some water, please. Yeah. Ooh. We're going to lose some weight out here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, guys. It's on the side. Let me just tell you this, okay? I got, you see these green shirts behind me? Yeah. These are the certified forerunners. I know I got four runners taking the courses right now out here. This is how this works from the future here on if you're a forerunner. You're gonna be like this, okay? And what that means is when we're in big settings and you come to these meetings and stuff, you get a chance to be used. Amen? Amen. That's what we do. All right, you come, get set free, healed, delivered, Get certified and we rock, man, yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Amen? That's what we're here to do. We freely receive and then we freely yeah. give. Yeah. We can't, I mean, we obviously receive at all times, but we can't be at every meeting going, feed me, feed me, feed me, and never give nothing out. Yeah. Yeah. All right? So receive your miracle today. Receive your healing today. Receive your freedom today. And then give it to somebody else. Yeah. And don't be scared of testifying of what Jesus has done for you. Yeah. Amen? Amen. There's times people will rebuke me for sharing their testimony. I'm saying you're still bound. Yeah. Well, I'm ashamed of that. Well, Jesus says there's no guilt, shame, and condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. You cannot be ashamed of your past. You can't. Your past cannot dictate your future. If you can think of your past and it still bothers you, we need to set you free. Amen. Amen. Your past, I'm going to say it again, does not dictate your future. Amen. Even your now circumstance cannot determine where you're going with Jesus. Amen. 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 So you might be in some weird places right now, but Jesus can take you out of those weird places. Okay? Amen. You all right with that? Yeah. So, what's the goal today? The goal today is, yeah, and let Jesus be glorified. Woo! Amen. You know, Jesus popped the scroll of Isaiah in Luke 4. And he, he said, I come to, you know, heal the brokenhearted, set the captives free, you know, give, give uh, open the eyes of the blind so the mute can speak, the deaf can hear all that stuff, and to proclaim the acceptable day of the Lord, the day of salvation. Did you know that today is the day of salvation? Amen. Amen. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Those who have eyes to see, let them see. This reminds me of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus went and he stood and he read the Beatitudes. Do you know this is what it looked like with Jesus? Do you know people gathered around Jesus, right? Yes. We're gathered around him today. Amen? We're lifting Him high. We are living in a day like never before. We're living in an hour that we've never seen before, guys. I'm telling you, man, trust me. I've been doing it since 2013. I've been trying to see this day, and the day is now. Amen? Amen? I didn't pop up overnight, man. I had to go through some things. You understand? And some of you are going to go through some things. But know that if you stay diligent, if you go through the fire, if you become refined, Jesus will be faithful to complete the work that He has started on the inside of you. Amen? I've made bigger mistakes than some of you ever could, could do out here. I've done it, guys. I've done some really dumb things in ministry. And look, I'm standing here with my beautiful wife, Heather, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. You know what? It's true. Through every bad situation I've been in, He's shown Himself good. He's always been there. He's never been a step away. All I had to do was look at him. And he said, I've been here for you the whole time, son. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. You know, we go through things because we take our eyes off of the king. We lift Jesus high. 
And when you look at Jesus, everything changes. If you've been far from Him, if you feel like you're in a backslidden state, if you feel like sin has you, today you can repent and look back at Jesus and He can set you free, heal you, deliver you. You can have the goodness of God upon your life. It's the goodness of God that leads people to repentance. Amen. I'm telling you, today we preach the goodness of God. Today, we preach a gospel of repentance. We preach a gospel of the kingdom. Jesus went into the towns. He told the disciples to go into the towns and say this. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. I'm here to tell you today, church. Today, my friends, the kingdom of God is right in front of you. The kingdom of God is at hand. I believe I have apostles in these groups. I believe I have evangelists, pastors, prophets, and teachers. I believe the fivefold ministry is standing in this midst right here. I believe some of you are going to do amazing things for Jesus Christ. Amazing things. Things that you could not even fathom. Some of you think you know what your call and destiny is. You have no idea. Well, God called me to this little thing. Oh, it's that little, huh? Well, you be faithful with that little thing and watch what happens to you. Amen. You know what, guys? I want to tell you this before we continue. In 2013, I got baptized with the Holy Spirit. People say, what did you do? What was different? I said, I went in the harvest field. I went when there was only one person in front of me. And I told them about Jesus. I used to go to campuses. I used to go into the hood, into the streets. Into, I used to be in there with meth addicts when they were shooting up and I'd have Islamic drug dealers right there looking at me like they want to kill me. What is that? What is this white preacher doing in the hood? You know what I'm saying? Come on. And I said, hey man, I'm just here because I love Jesus. And they'd be like, all right, you good, man. You good. I'm not the police, man. You know what I'm saying? But I was willing to go into, I'm still willing to go in dangerous places. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Yeah. But right now, God wants me to wake his church up. Yeah. That's what I'm called to do. I'm called to wake the church up. If you notice, Christians hang out around me quite a bit because God knows that I'm going to tell Christians the truth. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Church, it's time to wake up. Amen. It's time to move in the power of the Holy Ghost. If you are not, listen, if you are not moving in the power of the Holy Spirit, if people are not getting healed around you, if they're not getting delivered, yes, that's right, delivered yeah. around you, if they're not getting baptized in the Holy Ghost, then something's not clicking. Amen. Yeah. All of us can do that. Yeah. Every single one of us yeah. can do that. Yeah. Well, that's not for me, Dad. Yes, it is. Yes, it I rebuke is. that satanic lie off of your life. Yeah. In Jesus' name. All of us need to rise and be somebody for someone. His yeah. name is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I'll tell you that little testimony to let you know all you got to do is start and he'll finish. Get out there. Tell somebody after today what Jesus has done for you. You get healed today, what you will. Tell somebody. Jesus, and somebody will come up to you with the same issue you went through. You know that? And you got to tell them how to get out of that problem. He sets you free to set others free. So some of you, man, might go through some weird stuff and that's because God is about to use your situation for his story so that you can show others his glory Amen. all right I gotta lay the groundwork for what God's about to do out here today so guys please 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 kill pride please kill your pride Amen. please Amen. I'm begging you I'm begging you to kill your pride I'm begging you to surrender I'm begging you to, to, to bring yourself to a place like you've never been before of humility and say, I know nothing and you know everything. I gotta, I gotta die today, Jesus. I have to die for you and so that you can live. You must die so he can live. The hidden things, the dark things in your life, you gotta expose them, church. You gotta expose the things that are hidden. You have to, because what, you know, I was praying at a house meeting the other day and one of my friends back here came up and gave me like 75%, right? Manifested. Didn't get on. I'm using the testimony. I hope she don't care. But manifested. She got back up, came to me. She said, let me be real. I've actually got this, this, and that going on. And I said, oh, now you want to give me 100%. 
You see, shame will make you keep your mouth shut. Thinking somebody's going to judge you, the fear of man. I ain't judging you. I speak to thousands. I don't care what you did. Amen. No, really, I don't care what you did. Amen. You know? Now, if you, you killed somebody, you need to go to police. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got to do that. You got to repent to them. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, tell it all, man. Yeah, he can set people free from that, you know? Praise God. <laughs> you know? But anyway, come 100% clean today. If you don't come 100% clean, you're going to leave 75% free and with another pet demon going back home with you. Exactly. <laughs> Feel no shame, man. None. Last time I was out here, I had people after the altar call coming to me saying, uh, when I was little, I did this, this, and that, and the third. I said, why are you, why are you chasing me down over here telling me that? <laughs> you just had a full-on altar call and you couldn't tell. No, tell everything now. Yeah. Don't make me be here at 10, 11, unless it's for revival. <clears throat> you know, I'm not trying to do counseling sessions today, man. <laughs> this is the counseling session, amen? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm giving you the way. I'm giving you the way, okay? If it hurts, it's probably Jesus. Because he's hurting you to heal you. You know, the Bible says the wounds of a friend will profit you much. If what I'm saying right now is hurting a little bit, praise the Lord. Because it's going to just make you blow up for Jesus later. Amen? Amen. So are we willing to be undignified for Jesus? Are we willing to expose, listen, expose ourselves? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. The Bible says confess your sins to one another and you will be healed. Confession is powerful. Powerful. Whatever's locked in your, your dirty treasure box, unlock it. Man. You know, Joshua, I want to say this really quick too. Joshua was having a battle. It was called the Battle of AI. And in that battle, he could not win that battle because one of his soldiers actually took the things that was in the enemy's camp and brought it back and put it under the tent. And they were not winning. Joshua was like, Jesus, what is going on? I can't win this battle. We don't want every other battle. And I'm losing. And God says, hey, homie, talk to your homie over here that's hiding that thing because I ain't got nothing to do with that. And then he's like, oh, and then he went and exposed it. And then they purged even him from the camp. And then they started to win the battle. Today you got to let the Lord purge. Purge you. Purge you from the things that have been hidden in your life. Because God is not going to lift you up until you do it. He only exalts the humble. He resists the proud. Okay? Whatever is hidden. But listen, either you're going to expose it or He's going to expose you. Because you're going to go... I love you, Lord. And you go, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? And he's like, I need you to get that out so you can worship me <laughs> with all your soul. Amen? Amen? All right. And the power, listen, the power of the Holy Ghost will fall. And in your heart, you're doing what I told you to do today. Understand? Yeah. I mean, some of you, when I ask the Holy Ghost to touch you, it's going to encounter, He's going to encounter you. He's going to wreck you for God's glory. Amen? Yeah. Some of you are not going to be able to stand. Because the power of God is going to come upon your head in such a way, and you're going to be like, what is this feeling? I believe some of you are even feeling that feeling right now. Power of God can get so intense, it'll wreck you, man. It'll take you over. Amen. Amen. From Amen. the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Amen. Who's hungry? Amen. Amen. No. Who is hungry? Today, Jesus. Today, Jesus. Mark us. Mark us. Heal us. Heal us. Deliver us. Deliver us. 
Fill us, Fill us with, the Holy with the Holy Spirit and fire, and fire. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now I want to ask you guys this really fast. Is there anybody out here that does not know Jesus? This is your first time. You've just heard the gospel. You want Him to save you. You want Him to remove you from things that you haven't been removed for. Is there, is there anybody out here that does not know Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Anybody? We all know Him? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't know Him? I lost my way. Yeah? I'm trying to get to know Him again. Brother. Amen. Is there anybody else that's lost their way they want to come back? Yeah? Okay. She, you can stand. Somebody, uh, one of the forerunners, stand near her while she, she, she prays, please. She said she wants to receive, so can I get somebody that maybe speaks Spanish? Yes. Yeah, just help, help to translate. Okay. I can translate too. Okay. Sir. Is there anybody else? Oh, we got a few of you guys. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Okay. You know people who are backslidden are practicers of sin. Is there anybody out here that is willingly still practicing sin if you want to come back to Jesus Christ? Practicers. That means practicers of sin. You, you, you're struggling with immorality. You're struggling with things. You're struggling with contentiousness and anger and, and, and yeah, bro. Come on, man. Amen. This is it right here, guys. This is called repentance. This is called coming to Jesus. So, guys, we're going to pray for them first, and then we're going to pray for everybody after. Amen. 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 So, you guys are coming back. You're coming back to the heart of worship. Yeah. How do we separate? So guys, if you aren't um, up here uh, for salvation, just so I can see who is who, can we, if you're not up here, can you just take maybe three steps back just so I can see the ones who are? Okay. Yeah, because I just want to be able to see who's, who's, who's saying yes to Jesus. Amen. Now certified forerunners, can you go around these people that are saying yes to Jesus? Can you guys just circle them for me, please? And that way, because I know some people are going to start getting delivered from demons. Simple instructions, guys. Amen. Just so I can know who's who. Yeah, because I want to celebrate right now these people because they're coming and they're giving their life to Jesus. Amen. This is so good, man. Amen. All right, guys, this is what this means. It means you're repenting of your sins. You're turning completely to Jesus. You're letting anger go. You're letting the unforgiveness go. You're forgiving spouses. You're getting out of the wicked situations that you're in. You're letting go of immorality, lust, perversion, uh, anger, bitterness, all that stuff that's of, of, of the devil's kingdom. We're letting it go. Fear. You're saying bye to that stuff. Amen? Amen. 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 So say this with me, guys. Watch. Listen. As some of you guys standing right here under the sound of my voice, through the, through the authority of Jesus Christ, you're going to say yes to Jesus. And what's going to happen is His power is going to come upon you. Some of you are going to scream demons out of your body. Some of you are going to be filled and speak in new tongues as you confess Jesus as Lord 100% in your life. Amen? Say this for me. Say, Jesus Christ, I ask you to forgive me of all sin. I turn back to you. I give you my heart. I give you this bondage. I cast all my cares unto you. I draw near to you again and ask you to be my best friend. Lord Jesus, set me free from all demonic bondage and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are saved. Amen. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. You are forgiven. You have a right.
You have a right to turn from sin. You have a right to walk with Jesus today. I don't care what it is you've done. I don't care what it is you've been through. Jesus Christ forgives you. Amen? Amen. So do not think about your sin any longer. Are you ready? I'm going to pray. Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on real quick, Judge. I'll just pray she'll get it. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you right now for every person standing here that has turned their hearts back to Jesus. I command right now the power of the Holy Ghost and fire from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Holy Ghost, get them. Yeah, I see them on some of you. Get them, Lord. Turn it up on them in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, touch them in Jesus' name. I command right now every demonic thing, come off of these people in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Let it go. Let it go. Jesus' name. Complete freedom. Complete freedom in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to walk as far as the back, all the way from the left to the right. I'm asking you to start touching people now. Holy Ghost, fill them in Jesus' name. Touch them, Lord. Wait for it. He's coming. Yeah. That Holy Ghost wave is on the way. Yeah, I feel His power. Yeah, get him, Jesus. Yeah, touch them, Lord. I'm not going to be disobedient. I know he's about to land somewhere. Land on him, Jesus. Wait for it. Yep, up and out. There, yep. There it goes. That team is coming right out. Free. Free. It's coming out. Come all the way out of here. Now. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Ah! You're going to see people manifest demons. Forerunners, keep your eye. I feel the Holy Ghost. Certified forerunners, don't touch them until they get touched. Don't touch them until they get touched. They're going to start falling, man. Holy Ghost, fall on them, Lord. Touch them, Jesus. Every immoral spirit come out of these people now. Every witchcraft spirit come out of them now. Every witchcraft spirit go. Every new age python spirit come out of them. Hey, we got people dropping over here, forerunners. Pay attention. If you're certified, get ready. They want to be the most. Freedom. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Up and down. Jesus. 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 Spirits of pornography, let these men go. Come out of them now. Spirits of division, divorce, adultery, I command it to go. Freedom. Touch them, Lord. Free. Yep. Every Jezebelic spirit, I cancel your power. I cancel your power on God's people now. Release these people now in Jesus' name. Come out of them. 
every spirit of Leviathan, pride. I command you to let them go now. Religion, come off of God's people now. Every religious spirit's got to go. Spirits of infirmity, go. 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 Come out of them. Holy Ghost and fire. Freedom. Freedom. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. He's moving. The Holy Ghost is moving. Freedom. There you go. He's moving. Touch him, Lord. Touch him, Lord. Free. Free. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the gospel of Jesus. He's setting the captives free. Yeah. This is the gospel, man. It's the gospel. He said it is finished. Turn your hearts to Jesus. Turn your hearts to Jesus. He'll fill you with his Holy Spirit. Ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. Say, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, fill him, Lord. Fill him. Receive your prayer languages. Come on, receive tongues, guys. That's a witchcraft spirit. Get it out. That's a spirit of occultism. Get that thing out. Jesus name. Free! The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Freedom! You ready? All right, guys, I'm about to come through. Just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Forerunners, be ready. Certified forerunners, we're about to put work in now. It's about to get crazy. Jesus, thank you. Before I start walking through the crowd, let's say three things. Say, Jesus, heal me. Deliver me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, certified forerunners, go ahead and lay hands. Jesus' name. Father, I'll tell you right now. Feel it. Feel it, I remove that depression off of you, girl. Yeah. Spirits of depression, get off of her. Get off of her.